How to knit the simple grill pattern, English style. For this tutorial, you will need a pair of knitting needles. Special thanks to our sponsor, Skissel, for providing today's needles. Today, we are using their Addy Lace Interchangeable Clicks in the size 8. And two balls of yarn in different colors. Special thanks to our sponsor, Lion Brand, for providing today's yarn, who are introducing their Bon Bon line, a collection of mini skeins of yarn that are perfect for your everyday craft needs and different types of color work. Today we are using their Celebrate colorway. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Knit, purl, slip stitch. To begin this stitch, you must cast on in multiples of three plus three. Row one. Working with color A, we're going to knit all stitches. Row two. Continuing with color A, we're going to purl all stitches. Row three. We're going to transition to our color B, and when we move uh, from one color to the other, we want our new color to lie on top of our old color. Um, so that way it kind of has a nice little overlapping effect. You can see on the edge here, um, it's not all knotted and stuff, and that's because we're consistent in the way that we're manipulating the yarn from row to row. Okay, so we're just going to tighten down our color A. And then we're going to begin row three by knitting one. Okay, next we're going to slip the next stitch purlwise, and then we'll start our repeat by knitting two. Okay, and we're going to finish our repeat by slipping one purlwise. So we're going to continue knitting two and slipping one until we reach the last stitch in the row. So we're going to slip the last stitch, and then when we reach the end of our row, we're just going to knit one. Row four. We're going to begin by purling one. And obviously we're continuing with color B here. Then we're going to slip one purlwise. Then we're going to start our repeat by purling two. Then we'll finish our repeat by slipping one purlwise. And we're just going to continue purling two and slipping one until we reach the last stitch in our row. So when we reach the last stitch in our row, we're just going to purl one. So we're going to repeat rows one through four until we've reached our desired length. And that's how you knit the simple grid pattern. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more New Stitch Today? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.